long has it been since the last episode? Um, about 24 hours, sir. Well, yeah, I get that. that but, uh, like, in-universe, how long has it been since the last episode? Three and a half weeks, sir. Oh. Hmm, man. Well, then, it's been three and a half weeks since... The movie that's being filmed in Radiator Springs got in the editing stages. It turned out a large portion of the movie was missing footage. And after three weeks, three and a half weeks, it's finally ready to be shown to people. <laughs> Gentle cars, residents of Radiator Springs, actors for the movie. It's with great honor that I, Heather Dreyfang, present to you the movie that we shot here in your very fine town. Ahem. Racers of Radiator Springs. But we but before we begin that, I'd just like to give a huge thanks to Ramon Unconfirmed Last Name. Hey, thanks everybody. I'm so happy to be here. Uh, why'd you say unconfirmed last name? Because your last name hasn't been confirmed. Yeah, what is your last name? Yeah. I never heard it. I've never heard of it. Look, I know we've been married for years now, over 50 years, but I have no idea what his last name is. That's really weird, but it's true. Well, anyway, folks, I'd like to thank him. I'd like to thank our other actors. And most importantly, I'd like to thank you. Thanks for watching. Ladies and gentle cars, the racers of Radiator Springs. My name is Thunderstrike McKing. My life has been nothing but action and adventure ever since I decided to become a superhero. How did I get my powers? I didn't. Was I born with them? No, of course not. I don't have any powers. <laughs> the best type of superhero is the one that has no powers whatsoever. So you're probably thinking, he probably built a suit, didn't he? What was he, trapped in a cave? What did he encounter, a whole bunch of bats? No, I have no skills at all. But I fight crime anyway. Wow, that is a terrible idea for a character. Shh, be quiet guys, my big scene's coming up. And no matter what happens to me, I know I'll always be the guy for the job. <laughs> You're at the end of your days, soldier. You'll never get past my weapon of mass tailgating. Oh no! What are you gonna do with it? I'll make sure everybody always tailgates. I'm tailgate. She was the first person I used it on, and it was a wonderful success. Say goodbye to people who don't tailgate. I yeah. Hmm. Surprisingly easy. Anyway, I know I'll always be the guy for the job, no matter what happens. But I gotta tell you guys this crazy story. This one day. <laughs> I realized my life was going to change forever, and it all started one night. It was 10 o'clock on a stormy Tuesday night. I just got a distress call from someone. I didn't know who it was, but I did know they were in distress. At least, that's what I could get. I mean, it was a distress call after all, so that's just what I assumed. That's when I came to the location. And that's where I found her. Oh man, guys, this is my big scene. Woo! Finally, I came to the location of the distress call and found out it was my wife, Carsandra. Help! Thunderstruck, my king, I need you! <laughs> so, I knew exactly what I had to do to save her. I came up with a very complicated plan. Oh, oh, okay, she's, um... Oh, okay, this, this doesn't look like it's going as planned. Oh. Okay, never mind. Cassandra! Yeah, what is it? Okay, you're alive. I thought that would have killed you. No, I'm fine. I'm fine. 
I'm doing perfectly fine. Okay.